Hi, it's Anna. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I rap, record and produce my own music. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. And for this video, we're going to talk about being an introvert because, oh my God, this is something I've struggled with for as long as I can remember. Like literally, I don't even know, like two years old, something ridiculous because it's just always been a battle for me is like being extremely shy extremely withdrawn and not wanting to be around too many people like I don't know there's just something about being around a lot of people that just makes me feel overwhelmed and a little bit freaked out so we're going to talk about being an introvert when you're a creator as well because like as somebody that creates music and creates videos and stuff I know that it can be extremely difficult to put yourself out there when you're very like in your own little bubble and having to communicate with people and build relationships and stuff can be a little bit intimidating as well as um uncomfortable you know so what I have realized on my own journey is that I am only introverted around people that I don't know or people that I don't necessarily vibe with or like. So when I'm around like my family, friends, people that I'm really close to, there's no introvertedness whatsoever. Like I'm a little bit crazy as you've probably seen in videos with my best friend. Like we're a little bit weird and our inner child just fully unleashes on the world and it's really fun. But when I'm around people that I don't really know or like if I, if it's like strangers or whatever, I can feel really uncomfortable and like fully withdrawn. And also when it comes to creative things, like do you know how many fears I had to work through to be able to release videos and make music and stuff like there's a lot of um layers and everything that you have to work through so I want to talk about like my tips on what I've learned and how to kind of make yourself feel a little bit more comfortable when you're around people because I know it can be really like uncomfortable if it's somebody that you don't know especially because you feel what people think or you fear how you look you feel like it's all about perception and you feel you fear how you're going to come across how they're going to perceive you and all of that kind of thing so what I have realized is that first of all we need to put ourselves in spaces and situations that we're actually comfortable in so I think it's important to actually check whether you're feeling uncomfortable because you don't like the person, you don't vibe with the person, or whether it's because you don't know them. Like, there's a difference between it's just a stranger that you haven't quite warmed up to yet, and whether it's somebody that you really just don't vibe with, and they make you feel small and uncomfortable, and like you can't be yourself. Like, that's a huge difference for me that I didn't realise when I was younger, is like, if I vibed with a person, I would warm up to them and then my full self would unleash. But if I didn't vibe with them, then like I would just stay so withdrawn and I felt like that was my fault and like I was weird or something. But really, like, no, you're just not nice people. So I don't care to talk to you, you know? And it's sometimes you don't really notice the difference of what you're actually feeling because we're not very like we're not really raised to be very in tune with our bodies oftentimes we're all up in our head and we're overthinking constantly and we're not really trained how to listen to our body and the sensations that it's giving because it does tell you like that's where our intuition um is like accessed and sends messages is through our body and the sensations that we feel in it so if I knew this if I knew how to listen to my body I would have known that it's actually just because I don't vibe with the person and then making me feel extremely uncomfortable like it's not a safe space you know and we're in a world where there's just so many judgmental people There's just so much judgment, even without needing to leave your house, just going on your phone. Like, there's just so much judgmentalness, and it's ridiculous and like draining, even. But if you were aware of yourself and what you like and what you don't like, and what feels good in your body and in your heart and in your soul compared to what doesn't, then you would know the difference between 
somebody just not being right for you to even try to entertain and even try to come out of your shell with and when it's just that you don't really know the person and you're like trying to fill them out and figure out who they are and then you can sort of gradually let your guard down you know so I just think it's really important to become aware of the difference to be honest and also if it is somebody that you don't vibe with we need to stop stop putting ourselves in spaces with these people you know and I know in certain situations certain situations get my words out you can't um you can't help it like school and work and kind of like those kind of things but at the same time we do have control over who we hang around with, you know, like on a lunch break, who we sit there and talk to, you have control over these things, and I think it's really, really important to stop trying to come out of your shell for people that you don't actually, like, they don't respect you, they don't appreciate you, they don't treat you well, they're not kind to you, so, like, why force yourself out of your shell for that, you know? Like, the shell is not necessarily a bad thing, okay? This is another part of survival mechanism. Like, you're literally trying to survive and cope with the outside external environment. And that's often, like, a way, especially when you're young, it's a coping mechanism. It's a way to actually protect yourself from the outside world. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Like if you see somebody really um, acting really suspicious and like dangerous when you're walking down the road, especially as women, like we're aware when this shit happens. If you see that kind of thing, you automatically go into survival mode. Like you automatically know what not to do and you try and figure out ways to get out of this situation and how to like how to behave you literally think about how you should behave in order to get away from this situation so that's exactly the same thing when you're around people that make you withdraw is that you're literally just trying to survive so I think it's just really key to know the difference between actually trying to survive because something's not good for you and when you need to work through the wound to slowly come out of your shell around other people you know and I think I will go into um another video talking about my actual experience of like social anxiety and things like that because it got really bad at one point so I think I will make a video talking about that but yeah I hope this video just kind of shed some light on the fact that being introverted is not always a bad thing sometimes you're just protecting your own peace you know, you're protecting your own space, and more people should be like that, because if we were all like that, then there would be way less negativity towards things that you don't like, because you would just scroll past it, walk past it, ignore it, you know, we would stop just bashing each other over pointless, dumb shit, so yes, I hope this video was helpful, I really appreciate you watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, because the link the links are in my bio. Oh my god, too many thoughts are going through my mind at once. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> like and subscribe, yes, if you haven't already. And the links in my bio are to all of my everything. My music, social media, my phone number because I send daily motivational, inspirational texts and WhatsApps. Um, my merch, my new crystal healing. Oh, shit, I'm showing my the fact that I lost a nail now. <laughs> But my new crystal healing um, brand, oh my god, my mind is going so blank, what is going on with me? Um, yeah, so I launched a new crystal healing jewellery brand that I hand make myself. So the link to my Etsy where I sell those is in the description box below and I do ship worldwide and it's free UK shipping. So yes, that is all I needed to say, I think. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thinking like me, yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, thinking like me, yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, thinking my, I'm not thinking like me, my range all white. Oh, yeah, thinking my, I'm not thinking like me, my range all white.